I'm going to start again. Welcome to the Stone Mountain uh, City Council Post 3 Forum. I'm your host, editor and publisher, Dan Wozenhunt. Um, we invited all of the candidates to this forum. The candidates in that race are uh, Grace Kelly, uh, Richard Mailman, who we were never actually able to find contact information for, India Pullen and Ryan Smith. Uh, I did send the candidates multiple messages, um, gave them multiple opportunities to join. But as our standing rule, if uh, if somebody uh, shows up and they're the only person that shows up, they have the floor. Um, if there's if I find that there was a communication or technology error later, we might try to to put something together. But as of right now, uh, we have one candidate for. Uh, District uh, Post 3, and that is Ryan Smith. Ryan, how are you? Good, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're going to give you uh, a few minutes to make an opening statement, and if we have other candidates join us, uh, we'll, we'll give them an opportunity to jump in and make an opening statement. But you have the floor, sir. Okay, I, I appreciate your time, and I just want to introduce myself to the city. I think um, I'm every, most people know who I am, Ryan Smith, and I am very active in the city, and I think most people see that also. I'm looking forward to um, um, to run for the city council post three, um, Shakira Johnson's position. She decided to not renew, and so the the spot was open, so I was put my hat into the race. Um, what I feel that I add to the to the city is I had a lot of experience of as far as the knowledge of how the city works. I go to council meetings. I'm a reporter there every, every um, couple of weeks. Um, we wait while the council is is in executive session, and anyway, it's um, I'm involved with that, uh, so I know what's going on in the city and what our strong points and weak points are. I'm a member of the Historic Preservation Commission. Um, we are trying our best to um, limit the amount of houses that do not um, live up to the standards that um, they should. You, um, there's, we've got a new situ, um, a new com subcommittee uh, that looks at houses and just sit and sends out letters to people who do not maintain the house correctly. Uh, most of those houses are not occupied, so. Um, Living next door to an unoccupied house is not fun for anyone. And uh, we realize that and we're trying to make some changes there. So um, I'm, uh, if there's um, any other, well, I don't think there's anything else to add at this time. Well, we, we'll get into some of that with our questions. Uh, again, if you're watching us on Twitch, just joining us, uh, this is the forum for uh, Stone Mountain City Council Post 3. The candidates are Grace Kelly, Richard Mailman, India Pullen, and Ryan Smith. Uh, all of the candidates were notified about this opportunity. Uh, Ryan is here, and that's why you, you see one candidate. And our policy is always, you know, whoever shows up, if that's who shows up, you know, we have the, they have the floor. So um, just wanted the readers and viewers to understand that we had extended that invitation to everyone. And since we have one candidate. There aren't any time limits on the answers. So that's how we're going to roll uh, until something changes. Um, Ryan, what is Stone Mountain's greatest strength, in your opinion? In my opinion, the greatest strength uh, is geographical. We are located next to the East Gate going into, uh, I mean, excuse me, the West Gate going into Stone Mountain Park. Um, we have many people that drive through our city daily who want to go to the park. Um, one of our main thoroughfares going through the city um, is um, James Street Rivers and the other one, uh, Main Street, people go in and out of and on Ponce, they come into the city. So in my opinion, that's the biggest strength that we have. And 
we do not um, engage that as well as we should. And what would you say is Stone Mountain's toughest challenge? Well, um, I think communication is the toughest challenge that we have. Um, the um, going to council meetings, uh, the council uh, doesn't understand sometimes why people are frustrated, and it's because we ask questions and we send in emails and we don't get answers. Um, so we don't know where we stand. Uh, we we see money being spent. I'm not saying that it's the wrong way for it to be spent, but from our point of view, it's communication in our city is um, the biggest issue that I think that should be improved. And it's not hard to improve. It's it's um, we have a website. We have a place that's point, that that um, citizens comments can be. Um, answered, and it used to be answered before our existing um, uh, mayor took over, or I don't want to say it's the mayor's fault, the city manager took that over, and that kind of, that stopped. So that there was a place there people could go and see a, a question that was asked and get an answer and understand what's going on. Um, but presently, um, that's, that's shut off. And when you make citizens' comments, um, you get no answers. That's part of the rules. I understand that also. But um, you you would think you would be able to get a reply back in email. Um, I've sent emails in, too, and I'm not the only one who sends in any emails. And we don't get a re response. We don't get a, an answer that even says, I got your email. So, um it's it's frustrating to not know where you stand with a city. And uh, I just I, I don't think I mentioned this at the top of the show, but um, November seventh is when the election is, and early voting starts October sixteenth. Just mark those dates on your calendar, um, and and you'll be good if you want to vote in the local elections. You should vote in your local elections. Uh, we we think you should always vote early and vote often. Uh, next question. What, in your opinion, has prevented Stone Mountain from achieving its true potential? Well, uh, the new the in the last two years, the city council has defunded the DDA. Um, there's um, you can't run a organization without some funding. Uh, there's been some amount of what I assume is political. Um, problems between the the DDA and the, and the city council. Um, but uh, putting the city at, the city is who is failing when you don't um, promote the DDA. The DDA is responsible for bringing in the restaurants we have, the, 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 um, the brewery that we have, uh, the ice cream, the, the gift shops. I mean, it's, it's just disappointing that um, they felt that the DDA was not worth anything on their budget. They pay for a small salary out of a uh, salary out of that. I don't know how much it is salary out of that budget. And that's it. So in my opinion, um, the DDA being non-funded is one of the biggest problems and making the city grow because you don't have anybody promoting the city council doesn't promote the city out to businesses and the and the uh, city manager the city department doesn't have people to go out and promote the city and what it can offer other businesses around uh, so, as you know, Stone Mountain's biggest tourist attraction is the park, and that park is not inside the city limits. Uh, what should Stone Mountain Village do to attract more visitors to the city of Stone Mountain? Well, as I said a little bit earlier, the um, the thoroughfares coming in and out of the city, the, most of them, I mean, the main thoroughfare going in is James Three Rivers. If you take it off a of Memorial Drive, uh, into the city, which uh, a lot of people with campers come through our city, and the the um, thoroughfare is not maintained well. It's not attractive. 
You go by the, our, uh, our city cemetery, it is not maintained. Uh, there's no flowers out front. Um, some people on the, on the uh, council think that it shouldn't be funded. It's the city owns the cemetery. The city has city residents there. The previous police chief was there. And we don't understand why it's not maintained. The movie movie companies have come in and used that cemetery and not um, and people come back to see where the where that shot was filmed and they can't believe how poor the cemetery looks. So if you if to answer your question directly, if we improve the corridor going in better we would have more benefit to the city. Uh, thank you for that. Um, the Stone Mountain City Council recently voted to give itself a raise. It was a divided vote, I should note. Uh, what's your opinion of that decision? Well, I, I was not in support of it. I do believe they should get uh, some raise, but the large raises that they acted, that they enacted, were way too high for what they expected. All everybody who runs for council or mayor knows going in what you're getting paid and what is what is expected. Um, the the pay rate of three hundred dollars for a council member and um, going up to a thousand dollars was just too too high for a city of our size, and we should stay around the the. Uh, city's pay rate of other cities of our size, which are somewhere around four fifty, five hundred dollars for a council member, and and not two thousand dollars for our mayor. And what was frustrating about that, if you were in the council meeting, um, when it came down, it was a three to three tie, and the mayor said, "I wish I had more time to discuss this, um, to to to." Um, make maybe a change to it. And um, she had the power there to say no, and they could have discussed it more, but she said yes, and there went the, the large raise. If I get elected, one of my first um, uh, tries at um, making the city better would be to reduce the, pr the price of the raises, the cost of the raises, so that they would be more in line with what's reasonable and not out, outstanding or irresponsible raises for a city our size. Thank you for that. Uh, what is your opinion of city manager Darnettis Hyas? I think um, she gets um, abused in the council meetings. Um, I think she does a good job of watching over what she can of the city. Um, there's there's complaints from council people about what she does uh, in the council meetings and um, it's not fair uh, to her in my opinion um, of what, if there's issues that you don't like about what she does, then you have plenty of time between council, time, council meetings to discuss it, not don't has to be discussed in public. So. I'm I'm impressed of what she's done. She's hired a new uh, wastewater management person um, that can save the city money. We are we have issues with wastewater, and uh, uh, we need to um, get that fixed. And he was at the last council meeting, came across very positively about what he can do. So I see what she's doing, and I respect, and I think she's got a good team behind her. What changes would you like to see to Stone Mountain's Main Street area? Well, uh, the um, Main Street area, everybody knows it would be better if we had no open storefronts with um, um, used furniture and different types of stuff inside of it. Um, we need to have the, the, the stores occupied that they need to have people coming in and out of it to uh, enjoy the city um, again the dda is a very big uh, factor in that 
Uh, nobody on the council is going to be able to bring people into those buildings. Um, so that's that's my biggest push for making the city Main Street better is to open open doors. And um, my wife and I are are citizens that sponsor the uh, the the uh, tunes on the track. We um, have been doing that since for about five or six years. That brings a lot of people in in the spring and the fall on Friday evening. It's a free concert. It's uh, it's very entertaining, and that's a plus. But they we need um, the and that and the businesses along the city street can benefit from that. So that's a, a plus. better businesses, more businesses, not anything better, but more businesses that can help the city grow. So uh, a lot of people running for Stone Mountain City Council and city council offices in general, they have a diverse array of professional backgrounds. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what skills do you use in your day job that you think will be beneficial to you as a Stone Mountain City Council member? Uh, I'll be glad to answer the um my wife and I uh, run a um, uh, real estate team in, for Keller Williams. We do uh, property uh, uh, evaluations. Um, we know what the, the market looks like and, where, and it changes from d different areas in DeKalb County. Um, th one of the recent uh, homes that, we, that was next door to the uh, uh, courthouse was uh, by the HPC. We said it should be refurbished. The council overruled us and said, no, uh, it needs to be torn down. They tore it down. They paid $25,000 to tear it down. The property w could have been repaired and brought somewhere in to the city, somewhere around two fifty dollars to $300,000. But they had their own opinion on what should be done with that house, and they tore it down. So um, real estate is not on their um, uh, radar right now of being a strong point, and I could add that to the council to help them do a better job. Also, when they decide to buy another piece of land or another piece of property, are we paying too much for it? Is Is there any type of appraisal done beforehand to say what the property is worth before the city buys it. We're spending city dollars, taxpayer dollars on, a, on property, and we should be more uh, through, more careful of what money that we that the city spends. Um, what are your ideas to improve pedestrian safety in Stone Mountain? Um, Pedestrian safety is is a sidewalk issue and a quality of sidewalks. I mean, we have some sidewalks that have not been maintained that have uneven surfaces. Um, we have um, there's there's definitely a need for sidewalks. Um, I, I you may or may not remember I ran for council two years ago. Um, at that time, I went to door to door, and as I went along uh, Mountain View Drive, uh, those subdivisions out there, Mountain View Drive connects um, uh, Shepherd with Memorial Drive. They all complained. The people there all wanted a sidewalk to go down. So some of the people or some of the young people rode Marta, got off there and then had to navigate in a, either in somebody's yard or in a ditch or on the road to get home. And um, through working with the Cab County for the last two years, the Cab County has agreed, uh, have gone back and forth with emails because I promised those people I would help them. And I went back, to, uh, I went to the Cab County and because the, Road is DeKalb County. Everything on the east side of the road is um, Stone, the city of Stone Mountain. So the, the sidewalk would be on DeKalb County. So they're 
have told me that they will put that in the splash two funding for 2024. So I, you know, that that's a sidewalk issue that you were mentioning that that's very important there. So that won't fix all the sidewalks, but it'll fix, it'll make that area a little bit better. And the sidewalks downtown, um, some of the streets, um, we have some nice sidewalks going down um, to the park. Um, the park helped us on one of them going into the park. So um, there's no doubt that we can do more to help the uh, citizens of this city with sidewalks. And uh, last question for today, what strategies do you propose to diversify Stone Mountain's revenue stream? As you know, Stone Mountain relies pretty heavily on uh, taxes from homeowners, property owners. What would you do to diversify the city's revenue stream? Well, I think the, the city is no is is missing out on not uh, looking at the commercial properties. The commercial properties have not had their uh, uh, values been uh, reappraised in over five years. Everyone in the city has had theirs done, but the commercial properties have not. So with um, looking at going in and you can, as a realtor, you can go into the county and a citizen can do it too, can go into the, the city, uh, I mean, to the county uh, web, web pages and find out who's paying what. So uh, the, the business, not the business, but the, the uh, commercial business areas need to have their property reevaluated and pay their fair share. And that is our questions for today. So we will let you make the closing statement, Ryan. Okay. Um, I appreciate everybody's time. And I just wanted to let everybody to know that I'm totally devoted to this job. I have plenty of time to devote to it. And it's not one of those situations where uh, my, as I said, my wife and I are in a real estate business. Uh, she does most of the work. I do um, a lot of the legwork, but that can be done on my schedule of that. Um, that's one of the issues that I want to um, to let everybody know on. And the other one is to just let everybody know that my I'm very devoted to the city. I have lived here um, in the Stone Mountain area for 20 years and been inside and got incorporated into the city limits uh, four and a half years ago to, so that I could be, I could make more of a difference to the people of Stone Mountain. So my goal is not for me, it's, it's for you. And it's to see that the emails are answered, you get a response. Um, we get bathrooms in our parks. We, um, we make a difference to the people that live here and the people that visit here. We, we're not doing a good job with that. And, and we make a big deal about um, um, new playgrounds in two of the parks. I've been involved with both of those um, and they're great, but the ones they're made for young people, um, we need some parks, we need some play areas for uh, older children, we need restrooms in them desperately. Some of our parks don't even have a decent parking lot. Um, so there's no no reason why DeKalb County, Gwinnett County, all the other rare areas around us have nice restrooms, which have running water, and uh, and we don't even have uh, working toilets in them. It's just ridiculous. So I want to be involved with making that change and making us be proud of our city. And I will always be available. I will answer your emails. I will answer my cell phone. And I will continue to be in public with my wife at Tunes on the Track. You can approach me there. You can approach me anywhere at any time, and I'm not going to hide in some 
area and and uh, most of you know where I live. I'm inside the city limits, so there's no question there. So I look forward to, to serving the people and making sure that everybody gets a fair share in our city. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and, I, and I appreciate you taking time to come here. Uh, I did hear from Grace Kelly. Uh, unfortunately, Grace Kelly has a job that conflicts with the schedule today. Uh, but you can find her Q&A and other Q&As from the other candidates. The other candidates are uh, India Pullen and Richard Mailman. We never were able to, to figure out how to reach Richard Mailman. But if he's watching this, you know, please reach out to us at editor at decaterish.com and we'll send you a Q&A. Um, you can see all of our candidate Q&As at decaterishvotes.com. That's Decatur with an I-S-H at the end of it, uh, votes.com. Uh, the election is November 7th. Uh, early voting is October 16th. If you're watching this and you appreciate the opportunities that we've provided to you uh, to hear from our candidates, please visit supportyourlocalnews.com. That is supportyourlocalnews.com, or you can go to supportmylocalnews.com uh, and make a contribution to our fall fundraiser. Uh, the, the fundraiser is to help us uh, cover the costs of making sure these elections get covered. Um, as you know, we cover a lot, and elections are just sort of an added cost on top of that. So we always ask our readers to pitch in and help us out with that. Uh, this is the Decaturish.com Stone Mountain City Council Post 3 Forum. I am Decaturish editor and publisher Dan Wisenhunt. We're going to take this video and we're going to upload it to our YouTube and Facebook channel. So please look for it there if you want to watch it again. And uh, thank you, Ryan, for attending. Thank you for your interest in public service. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And we will uh, resume our Tucker City Council forums tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Goodbye.